Hey everybody, welcome to Engineering Academy and in this video I'll be talking about how to extract data from SAP 2000 in order to design a footing. Alright, so before going into the SAP, uh, let me first tell you what are the things that we need for the design of a uh, footing. Right, so, okay. Alright, so this is our isolated footing and for designing this footing we'll need uh, the axial load that comes from the column into the footing and we'll also need a moment in x direction that is mx and moment in the y direction that is my so we'll need uh, th these three things for design of our footing right so we'll now learn how we can actually extract these data from the SAP right for this purpose uh, let us open uh, SAP here so now we are here at z is equal to 8.5 meter level so what we do we just go to z is equal to zero level right okay so uh, first of all just uh, click on this icon that shows uh, state display options and check these uh, the labels option and click on ok and you'll see the labels right so this is 19th joint and this is 20th joint and this is 21 joint and same goes for others as well and after that what you do is that you just select all the joints right okay so these two 79 and 80 are for the staircase and we don't need to do joints right so after that uh, click on display and click on show tables and here you have to click on joint output and click on reactions here right so here select load case and you have to select 1.5 TL plus LL so that is the load case that we are taking for the design of the foundation alright so click on OK here and after that click on OK right so you can see joint text 1 3 5 7 9 so that is for the joint here it is 1 and it's 3 is 5 so so same goes for 1 3 5 you know so so these data are shown for these joints right so this is the meaning and after that you see f1 f2 so you just ignore them that is basically force in x and y direction and f3 is the force in the z direction so this is the axial load that i talked about earlier so the, this axial load is represented by f3 and we will need this f3 so for example if you have to you know design the footing uh, for uh, one joint so you have to, what you have to do for axial load you have to take 248.833 kilo newton right so similarly so we got mux and muy sorry mx and my that is moment in x and y direction so this is m1 that is the moment in x direction and m2 that is the moment in y direction so you have to take these two values as well all right so now comes the question you know how to design the mat foundation all right so uh, the answer is uh, just simple and uh, so let us consider uh, this footing as an example and you can see they are isolated footings right so let the total area of the isolated footing be a1 so that is not the individual footing so this is the total area some area of the individual footing that is let it be a1 right so now what we do is that we replace the isolated footing with the mat foundation like this or mat or raft just like this so this is just an example right so this is our raft right so the let the area of this raft be A2. So if A1 is more than 50% of A2, that is the area, sum of the area of the individual footings is greater than 50% of the raft foundation, then we go for the raft or the mat foundation. And we design the mat foundation using the procedures that we have learned in the RCC. All right. Alright guys, so this is how you extract data for the design of the foundation and uh, alright, so this is F3, M1, M2, so this is all what you need. Okay, hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching. Take care.